What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great start to your week. <laughs> I have uh, I have two quick spoilers for you as we start the show today. Uh, one, there is no way that this episode is going to be 15 minutes. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, two, I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break this week. This episode's kind of a little bit of a cop-out. I'm kind of cheating by putting this episode out there, but... I encourage you to keep listening to the other episodes of this show after this one plays. Uh, So first, I want to say thank you to a number of people who have told me they've been listening to the show and that they enjoy it. Thank you very much. I see the metrics every week, and I'm humbled and grateful that you listen to this show and you enjoy it. And the number of listeners each week keeps going up, and it's great. And like I say all the time, uh, this is more for me to learn about what's going on in our community than anything, but I am glad that you are getting something out of it. I also need to apologize to one listener, Cheryl. uh, Thank you for listening, first of all. Last week, I joked that I was going to teach a class on sourdough bread baking and boxed wine drinking at the West Bend Chambers Home Health or Home Hobbies and Wellness Show. I was just joking about some of that and i'm going to use uh finger quotes i was the the hobbies (laughs) portion of it um that i picked up during the beginning of the pandemic so i'm glad i was convincing but i was only having fun i admittedly had to quit bread baking because all the carbs were adding up fast and i probably should quit the wine because those carbs were also adding up fast um but here we are So uh, this week, as I teased, I'm taking a little uh, bit of a break from the interviews, but there are a few good reasons why. First, I recently moved into a new office. It's in the same building. Uh, Like we didn't, Epic didn't move, but I am now in a really nice office and it's just a different office in the same building. And it has a really sweet side office that I'm going to turn into a recording studio. So it was like an office and a little room off the side that was kind of like storage, but I cleaned it out. I'm painting it. I'm putting up acoustic panels and it's going to be a really cool recording studio when all is said and done. My next step is to convince Shanna to let me buy some more podcast gear. We'll see how that goes. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm not really optimistic at all. I, and it's not really her fault because I know better. Um, Anyway, it's been a lot of fun. It's not quite there yet. Uh, I finished building the acoustic panels over the weekend. I've got some soundproof curtains coming in this week, so it should all be ready to go for interviews around Wednesday. Second, and probably most important, this is my busiest time of the year at Epic, so scheduling has been a bit of a challenge for me. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and I'm excited that we've got some like really cool really visible client work that will be playing on your TVs, phones, computers, and radio soon. And I'm really proud of our team and their work. Uh, But with all that being said, I don't have a ton of time on my hands right now. And scheduling and finding guests is probably the most time-consuming part of the show. Not actually the recording or the editing. It's really the uh, finding time in the day to get somebody, uh, find, find the person, find their contact information, reach out to them, coordinated time to record and then, you know, to get them to come in, um, that finding that time is the hardest part. So, um, I could really use your suggestions on interesting people, fun events, impactful businesses, charity and community organizations, or anything else going on in or around Washington County that you find to be positive. Um, that will get people thinking that will uh, be a break from some of the nonsense that we see on social media. Um, so send them my way. I have a few shows lined up for your inspiration that are coming up. So, uh, there's a Corvette giveaway with the West Bend Sunrise Rotary, uh, their annual, uh, uh, classic car raffle, which is really cool. Um, or a cool car raffle, I guess. I don't know if it's really classic. Um, there's a new gym opening in West Bend. I'll be interviewing the owner of that. Uh, We've got a feature coming up on the 125th anniversary celebration for the village of Kewaskum, and it's two years later because of COVID, but it's going to be really cool. Uh, So we'll be speaking with some people about that coming up. But again, I could really use your help finding my next guests. So please send people my way. You can email me 15withfuzz at gmail.com. That's 15 spelled out with fuzz at gmail.com. You can also go to 15withfuzz.com and click on the contact form. 
since I live on the north side of Washington County, it's really, really easy for me to slip into like, you know, a lot of West Bend and Kewaskum area content. If you know of cool things going on in Germantown, Richfield, Hartford, Slinger, Jackson, or anywhere in between, please let me know. I'd love to expand beyond just what I see around me. Okay, cool. So your assignment this week is to tell me who I should talk to next. Even if you don't have their contact information, just if you send me your ideas, I can, I can figure it out. I'll snoop them out <laughs> in a nice and approachable way. So thanks again for listening. New episodes, which are typically longer than seven minutes, come out every Monday at midnight. You can subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. Anywhere you can find me. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My handle on all three is 15 with fuzz. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you next week right here on 15 Minutes with Fuzz.